YouTube, I'm back. This is Tiffany with Timur Fitness. Um, I just washed my hair and I figured I'd come on here and do a small update. This is my get ready with me video, but it's a get ready to go to bed video. I washed my hair and when I got in the shower, I noticed that uh, I only had like this much shampoo left, which wasn't enough to, this is like shampoo which wasn't enough to cleanse my hair. So, look, it be looking a hot mess. So, I, um, I did, when I first got my Sister Locks installed, I got the Suave Clarifying Shampoo because everybody was talking about it. Um, my consultant at the time told me don't use nothing but the Sister Lock Shampoo. However, I had a dilemma in the shower. And I needed something. So I mixed in a little bit of the Suave Clarifying Shampoo. I put it right in the same spray bottle that had the, this little bit of Sister Lock Shampoo and water. And I added some more water. Um, my hair feels good. My scalp feels really clean. And, um, you know, I, I really didn't like the fact that the Sister Lock Shampoo... Um, doesn't lather up and I don't think anybody does that's like one of the number one complaints that I hear or read about the sister lock shampoo is that it, they don't feel like their hair is clean so I use that and my scalp feels really good it feel like I don't know it feels different you know it feels clean but I just hope uh It'd be all right, which I'm sure it would, because I'm sure somebody would have posted a don't use that with your sister locks video. But anywho, it would feel so good. Like, mm, it ain't as stiff. I need a retie. Um, and I can't, I, I can't get one until November the 1st. And today is... October the 6th. Yeah, and it's probably that's probably going to be like 7 weeks since my last retire because I'll be going out of town and um to visit my husband. Hmm. Me and my honey live in separate states right now. And that's another thing I want to touch on. Um so I, I've always had um, a want to move south. I'm in Michigan. We're both from Michigan. And I've always had a thing to move. I wanted to move south um, after I retired. I started my job really, long, really young. So my retirement is approaching. I have... You know, me and my husband discussed this before marriage and everything that I wanted to move south. And he agreed. Yeah, he wanted to move south. He thought it was a good idea, a good change for both of us. So he, at the time, had 15 years on a job that we worked at the same location. He decided to apply for some jobs down there in Florida. And most of them said the process would take about a good two years or that they can hold it off for two years, but they wanted to make sure um, they got him to the point where he at least had the job offer, and then the job offer would last, you know, the remaining amount of that two years. However, uh, coming from Detroit, Michigan, he ended up getting his job offer immediately, and it was like two weeks, so. My husband and my son lives in Florida, in Jacksonville, near Jacksonville Beach. And I'm still here in Michigan because I was too close to retirement to just walk away. So in 80 days, I'll be moving, finally moving to Florida. They've been gone since September of last year, 2017. So I'm excited and I can't wait. It hasn't been as bad because we have been able to see each other um, 
every three weeks, but as the time is winding down, it's getting closer to that time, you know. It's, we're trying to save a little cash here and there, so. Because when, I'm not taking anything that's here. We already have a place there, and it's fully furnished and everything, so the stuff here uh, I'm selling or getting rid of, some kind of way. Selling it, throwing it away, whatever. It's not coming. Whatever can fit in my truck is going because I'm putting my truck and my bike on a hauler and having it hauled there. And I'm hopping on the plane. Okay. Um, but my thing is, I love my consultant. Okay. I don't know if you've seen any of my previous videos, but my consultant lives around the corner for me right around the corner I mean I can walk to her house in 10 minutes and um, I love that I'm so lazy but she live right around the corner we mesh really well you know it took 38 hours for me to get my sister locks installed and that was broke up over uh, three days the first day was um, 12 hours the second day was 10 hours and the third day was 16 hours so 38 hours yeah and not once we didn't even watch a movie okay that's how much we talked and laughed and you know we messed really well it may have been like a a new something came on on the news but we never really sat and was like oh put this movie in and we sat and watched the movie that didn't happen. Even when I go get my retires, we catch up, we laugh, we talk, we are Facebook friends and um, talk about things that's on Facebook or whatever. But I'm so, I'm terrified about that, about trying to find another consultant because, you know, you hear so many stories, you know, and some people was like, well, just take the retightening class and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I thought about that. But that kind of go against the whole reason why I got them. Okay. I I was a loose natural for, for um, three years. And I was, I was initially, I was against locking my hair in any form or fashion. Never wanted locks. Never even thought about getting locks, traditional locks. Michael locks, no kind of locks, because I was all about versatility, and you know I was ignorant to the life of sister locks. So um, when I thought of locks, I thought of restrictions. So, but one day I was um, combing my hair, and um, I had a friend who had got the got. This got sister locks, and she used to talk me into it all the time because I'd be like, Oh, I gotta wash my hair. And she'd be like, You should really get sister locks. And da, 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 da. I'm like, Girl, no, uh uh, it's not versatile enough for me. I like to do different hairstyles. I like my hair straight. I like to wear it. I'm lying. I really like to wear it up in the puff ball because I'm lazy, you know. But every now and again, when I did go out or whatever like that, I would do a fancy little mohawk. Or I'll go and get my ends clipped, and that was the only time that I straightened my hair. And uh, I've only did that twice, but the humidity in Florida, because uh, I wouldn't normally do it when I'm going to see my, my boo. And... Uh, as soon as I got off the plane, it was like $90 going down the drain because my hair was like this. It was all long and straight and pretty and everything. And as soon as I got off the plane, I was like, hey, boy. He was just looking like, oh, okay. Just shrunk to my scalp. So I was, yeah, so I knew that that wasn't going to work in Florida. But one day I was um, detangling my hair after I had washed it in sections. Take it took me all day. And I said, you know, I can't do this. I can't do this not one more day. 
set up a consultation, went there. She put in the test locks. Two weeks later, I got my son's locks installed. And I've been so happy ever since. I got rid of all my combs, all my brushes. I let my sister come and clear two whole racks of product for my niece's hair. Take whatever. Because now, I, I mean, I am a minimalist when it comes to doing my hair. So it's hard for me because I've been trying. I'm, no, I've been wanting to do some hairstyle videos. I'm so lazy. <laughs> okay. I just get up. I, if I don't feel like uh, sleeping with my bun on because I'm too lazy to go and put it on, I just grab my my pillow with the satin pillowcase on it from the other side of the bed and out, okay? That's how lazy I am. That's because I'm too lazy to get up and go put the bonnet on. Now, I prefer to sleep in the bonnet because I don't want the blanket, my cover to be rubbing on my hair or me to come off of the pillow. The main things that I wanted to talk about was <clears throat> uh, me being terrified about um, finding another consultant in Florida. I even mentioned to my husband, well, baby, um, I came to see you every three weeks. Why can't I come back? Why can't I come back to Michigan and get my hair retired every six weeks? Huh? 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 He said, you're bad. You better learn how to do it yourself. Anybody from the Jacksonville area, if anybody know um, of a good consultant or trainee, I don't care, somebody, I need just I need somebody to retire my hair because I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, okay? I know they make you pay a little extra to be a transfer client, but sign me up. Because I don't want to do it myself. Alright, y'all. That's the last one. I'm going to go through and separate each one really well. And uh, I'm trying to let my hair dry a little bit more before I go to bed. It is. 1.45 in the morning. Okay. But, yeah. Let your girl know. Is it somebody that I can go to that can uh, do my hair? Because I don't want to do my hair. Uh, at all. Look, I can barely get a style video up. But I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Anywho. Good night. Thanks for listening to me rant and rave about nothing much. But if you can find me a um, consultant or trainee that you know of, I would appreciate you so much. Yes, I would. Anywho, take care. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug. You know, you can't say that nowadays because bed bugs are a real thing. They are a real thing. So just uh, say your prayers. And have a good night.